Okay, so that was a crapshoot. Um, <laughs> I'll probably entitle the last two videos I just filmed um, bloopers one and two. Um, it's kind of, if you know me at all, which I'm sure any of you watching this still do because, you know, hi Aunt Sandy, hi Aunt Laura, maybe Shayna because I'm probably going to tag her in this on Facebook because I'm crazy. Um, anyway, if you know me, um, I'm kind of a klutz and actually my friend, my best friend in the world, Shayna, um, who I grew up with, she's in Australia right now and we were, um, chatting on Facebook earlier about how incredibly klutzy I am. It's become like a joke. And my roommate just walked in, so she's going to be a part of this video, Julia! <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I wanted to post a video of these two poems um, because one kind of grew out of the other. Uh, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I'm obsessed with this town called Centralia um, that's near actually where I'm from. Um, just a really interesting place, a really cool story, kind of sad, haunting. Um, so I wrote one poem entitled Centralia, but the part of the poem that didn't really work was Centralia. So I took that out, um, added some more, and called it Our Hometown. Um, both of these were for Professor Perdomo's class again, so thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read Centralia first, and then Our Hometown. Centralia. I am the product of a dead thing. Scientists used to suppose that fruit flies came from rotting fruit, that nature grew her own parasites. They weren't wrong. The sidewalks where I am from grow their own weeds. The dirt grows from under construction workers' fingernails. Guns grow their own bullets where I'm from. Trailer parks grow their own tacky pink flamingos. Stray cats grow broods of unwanted kittens inside them and then desert them like so many dandelion seeds, each with their own tiny piece of protective fluff. But winters are harsh there, and it is not, not never, enough. I'm from a town of early pregnancies and beer guts, sometimes both at once. My house is 20.3 miles from Centralia, which you have never heard of. It is a town built on top of a coal fire, which has been burning for 50 years. Sometimes, when we were bored, we would drive to its graveyard through the four-person town. There are more headstones than there ever were people, and wonder if the smoke-smudged angels were guarding a burial ground or a mass cremation. We would wonder if it mattered. So that was Centralia. This is our hometown. You are the product of a dead thing. Scientists used to suppose that fruit flies came from rotting fruit, that nature grew her own parasites. They weren't wrong. The sidewalks where you are from grow their own weeds. The dirt grows from under construction workers' fingernails. Guns grow their own bullets where you're from. Trailer parks grow their own tacky pink flamingos. Stray cats grow broods of unwanted kittens inside them and then desert them like so many dandelion seeds each with their own tiny piece of protective fluff. But winters are harsh there, and it is never, not, never, enough. You are from a town of early pregnancies and beer guts. Sometimes they are indecipherable, so you've stopped asking questions. You come from the same place as I do, as we do. They say childhood is the kingdom where nobody dies. There is no place more imaginary. Okay. So uh, that's those two poems, and um, it's only 4.45, so I'm probably going to continue filming. Uh, that way I can post for this entire weekend, um, since I'm going to be working my butt off. Hey, Richard, if you're watching this. Digital Photo Academy. Go check it out.